Democrats are being applauded in DuPage County. <laughs> One of uh, the best aspects of my job serving as your Attorney General is to be able to solve problems. And unfortunately, in this miserable economy, the people of the state of Illinois have faced more than their fair share of problems. Big problems and small problems. As your Attorney General, I am proud that I've had an opportunity to go after some of the mortgage giants uh, in our country who, uh, whose lousy loans really crashed our economy. At the same time, we also deal with smaller problems, making sure that seniors don't have unauthorized charges put on their phone bills. And so, when uh, a number of months ago I was in Warrenville talking to a group of labor leaders, and they explained to me that the plan for Navistar to expand and to move its world headquarters here to Lyle had stalled, I looked up and I said, this is something that not only can we get involved in, can we do, but we must do for the state of Illinois and the economy of our state. So, later that day, I think it was partly that evening, I had the opportunity to meet with some of the individuals from Navistar and those people representing them. And I learned, uh, as all of you can remember, that uh, at that point, the end of May, uh, Navistar kind of had it with the zoning process that they've been contending with for over a year. But they hadn't had it with the state of Illinois, and they hadn't had it with DuPage County. They very much wanted to find a solution. They very much wanted to locate here in Lyle. And so I reached out uh, with the able assistance of uh, people in my office. who have been mentioned Paul Gaynor, <coughs> Carl Borgetz, as well as John Rosenblatt. We reached out to the residents, and we talked to them. And we found out what their concerns were. Mainly their concerns were potential pollution and noise. And then we engaged for a number of months along with people from the governor's office in what I would refer to as shuttle diplomacy. Hearing each other, working out the differences, so that finally today we can all stand here united and say, Navistar, welcome to Lyle, Illinois. Dan, I want to thank Don, I want to thank the people of Navistar for their commitment. Uh, this was a long and at times very difficult process. But I also want to say thank you to the residents, uh, because when we engaged them, uh, they weren't against having Navistar here. They understood the impact it would have on the economy and on Illinois workers, uh, but we did need to bridge some gaps, and we were able to do that. So everybody in this room deserves thanks for their commitment, and I want to recognize the fact that we also should look at today as a way that other businesses who are in the state of Illinois and want to stay, or businesses, as Dan pointed out, who are not yet in Illinois, but might look to come, that they know that they have the commitment and the leadership of government business community as well as the labor community. Everybody understands that in these tough economic times, the number one issue is job retention and job creation. And with Navistar now safe and secure here in Lyle, I think uh, we should all applaud and hope that we see more successes like this in the coming weeks and months. Thank you very much.